Not too long ago, we actually got quite a bit of cubic support. We got free cards, we got cubic casualty, we got uh, the cubic seed, as well as a crimson nova. And uh, cubic casualty we is from an in casualty is from an event reward, and cubic seed and crimson nova is available at one copy through the level rewards of Aigami. So even though we don't have three copies of both Crimson Nova and the Cubic Seed, one is still better than none. And most importantly, what is so good about uh, Cubic Casualty is that it is a disruption, because uh, previously we do not have any form of disruption during our opponent's turn in a pure Cubic deck. And the Cubic Casualty is a trap card that gives our opponent Cubic counters according to the number of cubic monsters we control, and any monster with a cubic counter will have their effects negated and they cannot attack. So this is basically a sort of Venus chain effect, but without the downside of equipping to your opponent's monster. And because it is a cubic card, we can use it along with our skill, because both Dimension Summon and the Cubic Seed skill which is this one, the two skills that people use the most, they lock you into cubic cards. For example, Dimension Summon will only, act will only be active when you have only cubic cards in your deck and extra deck. That's why we're playing a zero card extra deck, because even if you play any other generic extra deck monsters, the skill will not be active. Our entire deck is made of only cubic cards, and because all of them are absolutely free to obtain, this deck is cost zero gems. What our deck aims to do is to basically search our cubic lord using uh, Dooza to mill a copy of Karma, and you can banish Karma from the graveyard to search any cubic monster. That includes our uh, Crimson Nova, and also our uh, Buster Gundil. And even even though Buster Gundil requires three cubic monsters to be sent from the field to the graveyard, we can actually cheat it out using our skill, which we are using Dimension Summon. It lets us play a level 4 or lower cubic monster from our hand, and it, it ignores the summoning conditions, so you don't need to send three monsters with Buster Gundil but its attack will only be 2,000 because of the effect of a skill. But that means you still have a 2,000 attack beater that can attack three times. And be careful because if, it if it's destroyed, the skill will uh, reduce your life points according to the original level of the monster. So Buster Gundil has a level of 4, so you will lose 2,000 life points. And other than to attack our opponent multiple times with Crimson Nova or Buster Gundil, we can also burn our opponent to death using uh, our Cubic King, which burns our opponent for 800, and we can recycle it over and over again with the effects of Dharma, which banishes itself from Graveyard to recycle any Cubic monster. And we can also easily search it from the deck using Karma. So that's basically the deck, we don't even have an extra deck, so I guess let's see how good this deck is. Oh great, we have a uh, casualty again. I'm just good, I, I draw uh, Dooza and casualty every game. I'm just a fantastic, skilled Yu-Gi-Oh player. Reveal, reveal, reveal. In attack. And then we will cubic king for 800. On defense. And then we will step casualty on this. And then we in turn 1500.
Mm -hmm, there's the other eyes. Minotaurus. Wait a minute! Does it give it piercing? Uh, during, if your opponent's... Okay, no it doesn't. It only gives a piercing when it's set as a scale. Okay. Okay, that's fine. You know he could have won if he set a, set a scale for both um, Minotaurus and Double Skull Crobat Joker and then Pendulum summoned his Pendulum Dragon and then attack for piercing. But of course, um, he, he won't read. And he still thinks that probably he could um, get over my Crimson Nova, which he probably can't. It's just a classic case of him not reading. Okay, he's making uh, Dark Rebellion. What is he trying to do? Okay, he's trying to use its effect. Okay, target my Crimson Lord. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that is why you always read my card effects. Um, Dark Rebellion says uh, it has to lose half of its attack, and if it does, this card gains that loss attack. So if my monster doesn't lose any attack, he doesn't gain any attack. <laughs> okay, let's hope that he doesn't set free and pass. Oh, he's playing the uh, Ar Arcana Knights. That's actually really cool, but uh, sadly this deck is terrible. This deck is just so bad, unless he sets free. I hope he doesn't set free. As long as he doesn't set a bunch of back row, we will we will win this. Yeah, there's the King's Knight. Out comes the Jack's Knight. And then what is he gonna do? Is he gonna Link Summon or something? Okay, XC summon Bujinte. Okay, he's gonna discard and draw two. Okay, that's really cool. Please don't set back row. Please don't. No, there are two back rows. But we, we might be able to do it. We will just uh, hope for the best. We will reveal, reveal, reveal. And then some Crimson Nova. And then just hope hope that he doesn't have Crackdown or something. And then uh, we will uh, Dharma. And then we will discard a Kama. Discard Kama, draw one card. Ooh, that's another Kama. Kama effect. We will get Duza because we haven't normal summoned yet. Or we'll summon Dooza, Dooza mill one, we'll mill Karma number number three actually. We have one in hand. We'll mill Karma. Karma activates its effect. And then we will grab a uh, Let's grab the Cuba King for some burn damage. Because I think we can win this turn. Okay, we will send. And then put this on defense. I can actually activate Karma to boost its attack, but uh, I would just rather set two. Because I don't think we can win this turn. Unless we are being extremely lucky. Okay, we'll just attack. And if this attack goes through and uh never mind, he has a common cut. Of course he has a common cut. Why wouldn't he have a common cut? It has to be common cut. And he has an MST. <laughs> Activate Bujinte. Yes, do it. Um wait, it doesn't discard for cost. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. But it's still fine, we will casualty this. Casualty the Bujinte. And yeah, now let's hope that that isn't a back row. Okay, let's hope that that's a Karma Cut, because if that's a Karma Cut, uh, it will be useless. And we might be able to win next turn, actually. Maybe. Good, he's making- putting it in attack position. 
uh, attack position. Does he not know that he can't attack with his Virginte? Okay. My monster gets destroyed, and then... Okay, chat, now it's time for us to use our plan B, which is, uh... Buster Gundil. We'll first summon Dooza. Um, Dooza, mill... just anything, actually. We can mill anything. Uh, we won't just mill, uh, extra Dharma. Yeah, he knows it's over. Uh, I can just use, use my skill to summon Buster Gundil and attack three times.